Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. We begin with currency trading as the U.S. dollar continues its decline, falling to its lowest rate in three and a half months today. The greenback ended the day selling for $130.53. That was the lowest it has been since July 4. The Canadian dollar is at a three-month low as well, closing the day at $99.56. The pound is going for $169.63, while the euro ended the day at $152.46 on average. The government's call to promote local meat is getting louder. And Minister of Industry, Commerce and Agriculture, Audley Shaw, is banking on Jamaica broilers to lead the charge. Mr. Shaw did a tour of Jamaica broilers' facilities on Friday to ascertain the potential for diversification and growth. TVJ's Andrew Laidley reports. Jamaicans are one of the highest per capita consumers of chicken, a staple in the local diet which is why Agriculture Minister Audley Shaw is looking to local companies to fully satisfy local demand. There is value added which can, which can be multiplied in our own experience to help us cut down on imports. A good example which I intend to pursue very aggressively is uh, more of our throughput from local production to go into our school feeding program to go into our hotels and of course to be accelerated through the foot value train into the CARICOM exports, into the Caribbean a common market and of course ultimately in some cases into our diaspora. According to a statement from the Jamaica Pig Farmers Association, Jamaica's per capita pork consumption is roughly one-seventh of the global average. but there's still a supply and demand issue. The day will come when we are producing, uh, doing more value added here, more vertical integration, so that we won't have the glut, for, for instance, for the pig farmers. One day you have a glut, next day you have shortage. But Mr. Shaw says his plans for the local poultry industry will fix these problems while building out the country's capacity to produce more. We're going to go places together. I'm saying that now, not only as Minister of Agriculture, but as Minister of Industry, Commerce, Investment, right? Agriculture, fisheries, etc., etc. We have a lot of things to do together. There's a ban on the importation of most pork from the United States. This coupled with criticisms from regional stakeholders that U.S. poultry products are substandard have begun to fuel the minister's drive. For the Business Day, I'm Andrew Laidley. Oil prices traded lower today. Oil for delivery in November went down by 33 cents to settle at $69.17 a barrel. The Inter-American Development Bank, IDB, is making more than 50 million U.S. dollars available annually for investment in a number of pro projects. This is being facilitated through its investment arm, IDB Invest. IDB Invest General Manager James Scriven says... The funds will be made available over a couple of years. He said IDB Invest is taking keen interest in Jamaica and its development, noting that the funds being made available will support key growth projects. The JSE Index gained 1,296 points today, while the Junior Market Index was up 78 points. Stocks posting gains included 1834 Investments, Berger Paints, Carreras, Derrimon Trading, Express Catering, Honeybun, Indies Pharma, Jetcon Corporation, and Kingston Properties. On the losing side were Barita Investments, CAC 2000, Dolphin Cove, Elite Diagnostic, Grace Kennedy, Jamaica Broilers, KLE Group, Lasker Distributors, Mayberry Jamaican Equities, and Panjam Investment. And that's the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.